Hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called System Check. This one's been requested by a few people asking me to make a video on it. So here we go. First off, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. So here we have System Check. It's basically similar to System Fix and these other type of hardware type um, rogues. They all look the same and they all do the same thing. They disrupt the operating system to stop you using Task Manager on the internet. And also it hides system files or program files and also the start menu and stuff like that. Okay, so as you can see, what they're trying to do is make me purchase it. Now if I click on the purchase button here, or buy now, which is fake by the way, so you don't want to be falling for that. Let this load up and as you can see, they're asking for 74 US dollars or 74.95 and also 84.5 discount offer. It's a load of crap, so don't bother paying for it. This is the activation here, and I will put the key code up on the screen. And uh, this is the code that you can use to activate and register this product so you can remove it. Now, as I said, the best way to remove this would be in Safe Mobile Networking, and you can do that by following these instructions on the screen. This doesn't run in Safe Mobile Networking, okay? okay so that's our how to get into safe mobile networking we're going to do it from the desktop here and the first thing is a quick look at the actual program itself as you can see it's pretty convincing but as I said it is a fake one so where does it live let's have a little look at where it lives there's an icon on here so we can right click on this and go properties and it shows me that it's living inside program data now that's a hidden folder so we're going to need to show hidden folders and files so we're going to come up to organize here click on the folder and search options and then go view inside here you'll see a little area where it says show hidden files folders and drives and then unhide known file types and extensions and click OK and once we're in there we can go into the C drive and now you should see a folder called program data and inside here you can see a load of files here okay and these are the actual rogue itself and we can remove those now you could rename these and try to rename the end part the executable part and reboot it will stop it running VIR or something like that but there's no really need for doing that we can use iExplore so let's uh, go about iExplore but first off I just want to go to users and go to the infected account and Brightec and then application data then local now inside here as you can see there's a temp folder now this is where the hidden folders will be so you've got to be careful not to clean out anything inside the uh, temp folder area because you're going to end up losing the uh, startup menu and all that sort of stuff this is what it does and there's an image on the screen at the moment this hasn't done it just yet but it will do eventually and this is what it will look like okay so let's download some files so if we can't get on the internet what we can do is come down to the run bar here and put a download link something like this and then click on this and it will give you the link to download as long as you've got the direct download link it should work okay that's how you download there now if you from there you can start putting all the links up here as long as they're direct downloads they should start to download okay so the next thing you can do, you can also download from this area if you wanted to and you can put the link inside here and hit the enter key and this will allow you to download stuff as well as you can see. A good little trick that. So let's have a look at the actual files that we can use. Now this is a, a post on bleeping computer which is very useful. These will actually restore the files back and this guy's created this little tool which is pretty useful and as you can see this is for the uh, fake HDD version but I'm pretty sure it will work with this as well so let's have a little look at these so I've got the Windows 7 version here and I will put the link in the description as I said 
So first thing I want to do is run iExplore and this is the one we're going to use. So let's move this to the side and show you the programs we're going to be using. Unhide is to unhide your files. Also that fix tool which restores all the files back. We're going to be using uh, TDSS killer and also we're going to be running malware bytes. Now first off we need to kill this process and we can do that with iExplore or our kill or something like that and this will kill the process you can also use um, process explorer or anything like that whatever floats your boat really just let this do its thing ignore all this and it'll just disappear and there we go okay so that's nearly there now and there we have it it's stopped that process as you can see and this is the process here so what we're going to do here now as you can see it's now stopped which allows us to run programs so again let me just move these across so we can see what we're going to be doing so we've done this one and now what we're going to do is run malwarebytes very quickly now if you haven't downloaded this you could download this now I'm going to quickly update and I'm going to run a quick scan here but I'd advise you to run a full scan okay but I'm going to do a quick one okay that's that scan nearly finished now and there we go so what we're going to do is show the results here and as you can see we've got these files here that we need to remove so I'm going to say remove selected I'm going to remove those now it wants me to reboot and I should reboot but I'm going to do that in a second now another thing you want to be doing is running TDSS killer now this is in case there's a rootkit that's been dropped now sometimes these do drop rootkits on the system so it's always advisable to use TDSS killer to make sure there's no rootkits we are lucky in this case there is no rootkit now I'm going to quickly reboot okay so we just let this reboot okay so we're at the desktop now now if you've got files and you know that are hidden by this rogue you can get that back by using a program called unhide and I will put the link in the description you just want to run this the problem with these unhides is it shows files that you may want to keep hidden and I'll show you what I mean in a second okay so that's now finished and it's saying your files should now be visible okay so the reason I wanted to show you this part here is what this program does you can see this this is now visible and if I hide this file which is the normal case and don't show hidden files and put this back you'll see that it's still visible so it's now hit unhidden that location and you can still see some files in here that we can clean up on which are now gone I'd also want to go to the users and, and the account there. Now you can see app data is now visible, and that's because we've just unhidden everything. So you've just got to be a bit mindful there that you are now visible with these files. So inside the temp folder, again, once you've copied that across, you can put all your files across. Now, if that doesn't unhide your files, they will still be inside here. Okay, and this is where this tool comes in. So we're going to run this one. Uh, let me just. Um, run that as administrator okay and it's just telling me that this script will put this uh, start menu back so I'm going to say OK here your start menu is now been restored and it will ask you to reboot and then once you've rebooted you should have all your stuff back to normal and that's pretty much it for this video I'm hoping that's going to help you out. So my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. 
and rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future. Bye for now.